I wanted to make a, a quick video demonstration on how we can utilize WWV signal to calibrate our reference oscillators. And I want to show a couple different techniques that I hope are going to prove to be uh, useful. Before we get started, I just wanted to briefly note that the frequency that we're on is 25 megahertz. This frequency is probably going to be a little bit difficult to uh, receive for most people due to the solar uh, cycle uh, uh, sequence that we're in right now uh, near the bottom and uh, also uh, the uh, uh, propagation allowing it is just going to be challenging. But the reason that I mention it is that it's very important to utilize the highest frequency possible uh, when conducting these experiments uh, so that you get the best amount of error possible when trimming your oscillator. And these, uh, of course, are mathematically driven so that the uh, higher the frequency, the more error or more probability of error you'll have. Uh, for example, if you're on 160 meters and you're two cycles off, uh, by the time you're on 80 meters, you'll be four cycles off. And by the time you're on 40 meters, you'll be eight cycles off. And that error keeps multiplying every octave. So whatever the highest frequency is that you can utilize, uh, definitely take advantage of it. Uh, we chose 25 for this demonstration uh, because we could, and uh, it'll uh, provide a pretty good, uh, a pretty good demo. So uh, it's interesting to uh, note we're going to be using a technique here, both in uh, AM double sideband and lower sideband, and we're going to trim our own oscillator and watch what happens. So the first thing I'd like to do is uh, demonstrate uh, how uh, utilizing the receiver in double sideband we can allow the lower and upper sideband components of these two signals to beat against each other which creates a very very notable effect. So let's listen into this real quick and we'll go a few couple uh, uh, cycles uh, up and down and we'll be able to note that uh, error quite uh, easily. Two cycles, three cycles, you can really hear that. Four cycles, five, six. We'll wait for the announcement and the tones. Now I'll pull the receiver uh, over to single sideband. We'll start to hear that the uh, the way that this is recovered is completely different. There's the single sideband component, the double sideband, single, and double. And you'll notice when I'm doing this, as I move this chunk of bandwidth, in older receivers this would be considered the IF shift, where you're moving the entire pass band but you're not actually changing the bandwidth. So if you have an IF shift, this is the control that you'd want to utilize on a classic receiver. Let's wait for the tones again. Okay, so that's a pretty interesting demonstration. Now I'll center the uh, receiver up again. And you'll note that I'm heavily zoomed into the signal now. And I did this uh, specifically so that we could see that the center of the spectrum analyzer is dead center on the carrier. And this is an indication that we're completely aligned. But what happens if we weren't? I'm going to actually go ahead and trim our reference oscillator to show what really happens in a normal receiver. And we'll go ahead and look at the difference now. And this really is the big, the big problem that I want to kind of demonstrate. Look at the frequency display. The frequency display doesn't change whatsoever. Even though now we can easily detect it audibly and we can see on the spectrum analyzer that in fact we're nowhere close to being on frequency. And we'll wait for the tones.
perfect you can see now we're back to uh, where we should be everything is uh, perfectly aligned we're perfectly centered uh, using the double sideband technique still on that uh, really uh, you could hear it you could see it very very easy so just a quick demonstration uh, both uh, visually of course uh, we're really zoomed in of course to get this kind of uh, look um, and uh, a couple different techniques so well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, my name is Tyler, amateur radio operator, Kilo Alpha Zero Kilo Alpha. Thanks for watching.